What's up? It's your friendly neighborhood Zach from Render Effects, and in today's video, we're going to be showing you how to do Spider Man web sling effect in Final Cut Pro. Let's get started. What's up, filmmakers? Let's get into this effect. To web sling like Spider Man, you'll need two shots. First, film your subject acting as if they are shooting webs from one or both hands, then crouching down, and then pulling themselves up and away with the webs. Second, without moving your camera, film a clean plate of the background. Drag the action shot, the shot of your subject, onto the timeline and trim it using option right bracket, so that the clip ends on the frame where the subject first leaves the ground. Next, drag the clean plate to the right of the action shot. Now. Create a freeze frame of the last frame of the action shot where the subject first leaves the ground. Set the duration of the freeze frame based on how fast you want the subject to fly away. To set the duration of a clip, select the clip and use the command Ctrl D. Then you can type in how many frames you want. Six frames work perfectly for our shot. Now place the freeze frame on top of the clean plate and using the draw mask tool, cut out your subject. On the first frame of the freeze frame, Add a keyframe on transform. Scrub to the last frame of the freeze frame and reposition your subject out of the frame. Ensure that the transform path matches the direction that the subject is jumping in a clip. Now, play it back. If your subject moves too quickly or too slowly, you can lengthen or shorten the freeze frame and adjust the keyframes accordingly. Next, add the directional blur effect to the cutout, match the angle to the direction that the subject is flying out of frame, and set the amount to 75. Set a keyframe on amount on the first frame, scrub to the last frame, and then increase the amount to 200. To add more power to the takeoff, create a speed cut where the subject is crouched the lowest and increase the speed after that point so that the spring up is fast and powerful. Remember, speed equals power. Now it's time to find a Spider-Man web composite. Head over to Footage Crate and you can find a variety of amazing options. Use the first link in the description to sign up for either a sample, pro, or enterprise account. Helpful tip, it's cheaper to pay yearly. With the sample account, you will have a few free options, but in order to gain full access to all of the amazing composites that Production Crate has to offer, you will need a pro account. I'm going to use this composite right here, which will work perfectly for the Spider-Man web sling effect. Add the web composite from Footage Crate into the timeline. Line up the composite so it starts when the subject acts out shooting the web. You may need to add the flipped effect to the composite depending on which direction the subject shoots the web. Now open the video inspector panel and under transform, adjust the anchor point so it lines up with the origin of the web. Change the scale to 400%. Now add a keyframe to position and frame by frame reposition the web so that the anchor point lines up with the subject's hand. Trim the web composite once the subject has exited the frame. Next, rotate the web so that it matches the direction that the subject flies out of the frame. Then, set a keyframe on rotation on the first frame of the composite, then scrub to the last frame and increase the angle by a few degrees. Now, add the directional blur effect to the web composite. If the subject shoots webs with both hands, repeat this process for the other hand. Finally, for the most important step, Sound effects. Sound is a make or break for VFX. Here we'll show you the clip without sound. Here it is with sound. Footage Crate not only has VFX and motion elements, but also has sound effects and music. Using the Web Shooter 3 sound effect from Production Crate, our Spider-Man web sling effect is now complete and you can enjoy your finished product. If you guys enjoyed this video, subscribe for more Final Cut Pro tutorials like this, and check out our last video to learn how to edit lightning effects in Final Cut. And for fantastic filmmaker apparel, check out digitalhustlers.store, link in the description. Remember, with great editing comes great responsibility. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.